Hai, wash kali YouTube. It's your boy SMTD Drizzy here, and as you can see, I'm in the 2K demo. And as you know, it's speculation Sunday, baby. Now, I just I just want to speculate on how y'all feel about the 2K demo. It's kind of useless now because of how much they changed in between uh, the demo and the the actual game like they changed the fact that bigs don't get locked up uh by their or not don't get locked up uh can get any jump shot and other things like that and they're increasing the stamina but i just wanted to show y'all what my build is as y'all as y'all know if y'all did or if y'all didn't know i make slashers every year i don't quote myself on being the best slasher but i do quote myself on being goaded at slasher that is my, that is, that is me. That is me right there. Uh, and I heard something from, who was I watching? I think I was watching Agent Zero that there was a really good defensive badge, but I completely forgot which one it was. But um, I don't mess with the height. I leave my player the same height. Even though if I upped his height one, I would still be straight. As you see, I have 90 ball control. I just leave his height the same. Now, I'm going to give y'all a gem. For me, I just lower his weight just because. I don't know. And then I don't touch his wingspan. Even though I could max it and be just fine. I might actually. I know on my main. On my main. This isn't my main because I capped out the demo on my main. Uh, I, on my main, I left it the same. But well. You know what, just for just for giggles, man. We'll we'll cap it out. And I give myself Playmaker Takeover because I like Playmaker Takeover better than Slasher Takeover. Now, this one's different. Ooh, it said I built a John Wall the last time. Uh but um like I was saying, they changed they changed the cap for or they got rid of the cap for um Centers not being able to use any jump shot, right? And um, you also cannot cannot uh, increase the speed of your jump shot. So quick draw is a must in the custom jump shot creator. Um, now guards, guards can put brick wall on and drop people, which is terrifying. Um, let's see, for this one I'm gonna give him tireless defender and then clamps. And then, pick dodger. No wait, they're, if they are doing what they said they're doing, which is nerfing screens, then I'm not gonna give him pick dodger. You know what, let's give him brick wall, just to see. Just to see. Now we go over to the playmaking badges. This is what I like to do. I like to do ankle breaker on Hall of Fame. Quick first step on Hall of Fame. Um, all these on Hall of Fame. Where's unpluckable? There's unpluckable. And then I like to put stop and go on Hall of Fame. And then I also like to put needle threader on Hall of Fame. I don't really use, like, I don't really, I mean, I stop and go sometimes. But not often. The thing that I do the most, bad, bad habit of mine, is the in-air passes. So, yeah, th those are the badges I like to rock with. Now, where's my badge? This badge right here. I made this build the first time, and I did not put this badge on this. And then I built, I built another one a second time, and I put this badge on there, and he plays completely different. Though... Those two don't even play remotely the same. It is ridiculous. Uh, put Pro Touch and then Consistent Finisher on Bronze. I think that's what it was. No. No. I don't remember. I know it was something like this. I know it was something like this, 
Pretty sure. I know Giant Slayer was on Hall of Fame. Contact Finisher was on Hall of Fame. Acrobat was on the Hall of Fame. And Relentless Finisher was on Hall of Fame. I do know those. But the rest of them, that was, it's just a guess. And then, of course, you got to put on Kyrie's jump shot, even though I'm not going to be shooting any jump shots. And you got AJ Abdul Jabbar, baby. But, uh, yeah, Ronnie said that they're, um, they're going to add more pie charts where you can custom make your own pie chart. Which, if I can custom make my own pie chart, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because SMTD Eclipse, he made a, basically a sharpshooting slasher, right? So he's got a decent three pointer. So I might just cap my I might just I might just cap defense defense uh driving and uh playmaking and just not have anything in uh shooting. But uh I do like how this game plays. Uh I do wish we could have put SIGs in in the demo, that would have been lit. But I don't know. For me, it just feels like the game, or it felt like the game was slow. But everyone was saying the reason why the game felt slow is because of the whole, well, one, the non SIG part, and the, uh, what else did they say? Because of the non SIG part and the low stamina. And they said that they might be increasing the speed of the game too, as well. With also changing the stamina. Ah, that was terrible defense. But, yeah. I'm kind of intrigued to see how they're going to... I just feel like quick first step is an OP badge. And look, I'm going up on everybody. And I might... I don't know if I'm going to put footage of me. Because I know I recorded the first build. The first build without without Giant Slayer on Hall of Fame. I might show it just just to prove my purpose, my point on on why Giant Slayer is so OP. Now I feel like I feel I'm praying that it's a really slept on badge because everyone's gonna cap their hideout and not expect players to be what the and expect players to be shorter than them, right? So they're not gonna they're not gonna put it on them. So when I go up against point guards in the park, they're going to be taller than me, right? And then I'm just going to go up on them. Well, I'm probably not going to be going up against point guards because uh, SMTD Eclipse made his guard kind of short. So it's even better. As long as I don't go up against a lock, I should be fine. But it's going to be basically the same way how centers were the wave. I'm I, I'm getting pre condescending tones that senders fun to be the wave. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Ooh, and why? Ah, okay. I do absolutely love making slashers, but sooner or later I might get. Nah, I I don't ever think I'm gonna get tired of making slashers, but I'm just gonna get tired of them nerfing slashers. That's my only problem. Because they always. Not nerfing slashers, but buffing defense. Because always the defense is really bad. Right? Always paint defense is always terrible. And they always buff it every year. And then eventually it's going to get to where paint defense is just too OP to go up against. Which was my first complaint with the game at first. When I first played this, when I first played this, when I was when I was trying to record this video specifically with the original build that I made, I was getting my stuff packed, right? I was I couldn't even Willie Collie Stein was not even giving me the chance to go up. Right? He was blocking me before I even tried. And then I was getting fed up, so I made six of the same builds and just played around with with finishing badges and then on the on the second to last one, I found the badge. So, I didn't even make the same exact build. I actually made, uh, there's another pie chart that has less in playmaking and more in uh, driving. And I made that build and I gave it Giant Slayer on Hall of Fame. Because it had 30, 
it had three finish, finishing badges and like 20 playmaking badges. So I didn't even get, I couldn't even get any Hall of Fame badges for playmaking. And that's when I figured out the OP-ness, which was uh, Giant Slayer. It basically, for me at least, what, what I noticed with Giant Slayer is it takes away that initial threat. Like, you could still go up when you don't have Giant Slayer. Right? You could still you could still go up, but you're not going to either A get the foul call or B actually get a layup animation. They're going to block you pretty much every time. So you had to make make sure that you would skip through the lane and like do you had to do like a hop a hop step, which they're nerfing that as well. They're nerfing hop steps, which kinda hurts me a little bit because I I do hop steps and spins too much. But I'll get over that. Now we're going to go right by him. Bump. <sighs> I didn't get myself a clip. Wait. Yeah, I did. And the other thing I like, I just need to figure out how to do post hooks. Is that I have a really high post hook. I just don't know how to do post hooks yet. Now, of course, me, I'm kind of biased towards the slasher opinions. Like, anybody that plays slasher that has an opinion about anything, I kind of normally side with them. And I normally typically can't, I normally can't fi uh, force myself to side with sharps because I absolutely hate sharps. I just don't, I don't find it fun to play the game the way that sharps do, where they just hide behind screens and stuff like that. I like being able to do stuff my by myself, right? Not only that, but I like to... Hey, but I like to uh actually like finish at the rim because I guess I guess it's more or less because I'm kind of a spot up shooter IRL. Like when I actually play basketball, I'm kind of a spot up shooter. So like I've already been there, done that. You feel me? So it's kind of lame to be a spot up shooter in a video game when I can be a a LeBron or not necessarily a LeBron but a guard version, like Russell Westbrook. But um, what's the other thing? What's the other thing that Ronnie said they're buffing? Uh, oh, they're buffing small forwards because most of the complaints, of, uh, most of the complaints that people were having is that small forwards were tr trash, which I made a slashing small forward, and he was pretty bad. So... <laughs> So I kind of agree. Uh, but no one really has any complaints about the fact that they're buffing small forwards just because they needed a buff because of how bad they were. And, you know, usually, typically, the small forward, a small forward is like one of the best players on a team. It's usually like, it's usually point guard shooting guard, small forward, and then there's, like, a few teams in the league that have very good bigs, right? So with the way that it's set up right now, it's bigs that are good and guards that are good. And there's not really any small forwards that are legit good yet until they buff them. But I'm really... I know this difficulty can be on, like, anything high, but, like, I'm very satisfied with this build. Like one hundred percent satisfied with the build. And he's not he's not even a slump on defense because the first time I built him I also did not put I did not put any points into defense. I put them all into shooting. Woo hoo I put all my points into shooting, driving, and playmaking, and then I had a little bit of points left over. So he's, but the way that I built him now, he's not even a slump on defense. Like he can he can clamp up the perimeter, which does me well, which is quite, it's quite nice. I never had. I mean, it feels great to have a player that can basically do what I want him to do. Like, I do like the system this year, how I can actually, like, legitimately build a player that can drive and, uh, that can drive, dribble, and, 
I wanted to make it where he could drive dribble and shoot middies, but instead I made it to where he can drive dribble and uh, play some defense. But I want to see how the customs work. Because if the customs work, or if the customs can work how people think they are, where you can choose your own caps, it might get scary. Because I might actually get to make what I want to make. Legitimately, it might get scary. Because if I get an 83 ball or, or lower, well, 83 and an 80 mid-range, oh, that's a GG. Somebody gonna sag off on me because I'm gonna be mostly driving and and playmaking. I'm gonna pull up, but uh, if that's not how it works and I can't just choose my caps, but I can choose like the pie charts, then I'll just take it all the way down and give myself a high defense. Ooh, go, go. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, you know the difficulty's low when you're pulling up with like a 40 mid range and jacking. The other thing is, is I noticed, you see that, you saw that pass I just tried to bait. They don't really throw it as, as much. Like, the shooting guard will actually, like, play, like, how you should play if somebody's trying to bait that pass, you know? Actually take the rock up and, you know, run the offense. It used to, it used to bother me, but I knew that they were going to do it. But it used to bother me that they would, would uh, not, just, you know, not, not even focus on me. Give me that. Ah. And uh, the first time I built this, I didn't give him, I did give him clamps, but I also, I think I gave him like interceptor on gold instead of clamps on gold, which I feel like clamps is a more important defensive badge, even though I'm like got off the defense right now for some reason. There we go, quick first step. And there goes my pass right there. I love throwing those for some reason. Uh, I usually create a lot of turnovers by doing that, so I'm glad they finally made me a badge. <laughs> I honestly, honestly, I feel like they made that badge specifically because they were tired of my turnovers. Green light. Oh, we're so close to take over, and we're gonna get. It's gonna go to halftime, and we're not gonna get take over. Dang. I've only got take over twice in this demo because I, friggin' how ridiculously short the quarters feel. But I think I played the whole 10 minutes. That's lit. Uh, but I'm I'm very interested in this game and how the fact that you can dribble with, with like, the left stick and things, which is just weird. It kind of makes left, left writing look like it's going to be OP. But hopefully they make it to where the where the guards not guards can only dribble with the left stick but guards can only get like the actual op moves in, instead of how it was for like the past few years where where an animation happen and, and then everyone everyone can get everything because then that sucks because i know i took advantage of the animation glitch so i can't really be talking not this year but i took advantage of it and 2K18, the worst 2K. Uh, what did I do? Uh, I ain't gonna say. I think I also took advantage of it in 17. But in 17, in 17, at least in nine mind modes, except for one, one exception, only one exception where I can genuinely say that it did actually work. In online modes, but at least at least it was at least it was a meme. Um, in two K seventeen, I made um I made a five seven point guard right just to just to beat people with like I just liked beating people with my five seven point guard because it made them like extremely mad. And then when I lost as my five seven point guard, it also made people extremely mad. But it was so fun to play with, so I just I would just always play with it. But when the animation glitch came around, I know I ain't even supposed to say this, but uh, I gave him contact dunks just for specifically just for my career. Every time I would uh, play park, I would take it off because I feel like that's kind of cheating. But in my career, man, that dude was a freaking monster. It was it was so fun to play my career. That player, I played too much my career. 
I played. I think I played seven seasons with that player on the Phoenix Suns. But there was one time that I forgot to take the contact dunks off, and I did like three of them, and people were heated. But uh, I st I still have 2K17 downloaded just to play micro with that player. Hello? Oh, I thought that was double. I was about to, I was about to pull a Devin Booker. Uh. I just love that with Giant Slayer, you can just drive on Willie Colley. First time I played this, Willie Colley was not having none of my crap. But it's all good. I hit him with a... Ooh, ooh. What? Oh, that's that stupid. And one. Oh, oh yeah. And for some reason, I feel like I get a lot more and ones. Which, you know, me, I don't really care because I did not upgrade my free throw, which makes me sad. I can't get. I mean, no one likes free throws, but dang it, man, it makes it to where I can't get free throws. <laughs> I can't hit free throws. Like, in order to be able to hit free throws, you legitimately have to spend. Precious attribute points. Precious attribute points to get uh, to get uh, free throws up, which is just sad. We don't. Hey, and it feels like every dunk is a hop step dunk. Cause I I didn't even try, but he kind of he kind of did a hop step. Yeah, you don't want it. Oh, I'm taking this all the way. Hey! Skip through the lane. Oh, you know I'm going to come through and steal this, too. Come on. Curry! Uh, that's on That's on Freddie Van Lee. You know you can't do nothing on him. Uh, did I call him F Freddie Van Lee? I meant to say Freddie Van Lee. What kind of... I don't even... I don't even... Rondé? Rondé. You're going to sit the bench for that. Oh, and another thing, I don't know if y'all saw the videos, but you can choose who you play for and who you play against in the actual game, which ooh, that was a clean layup, which is really good because I know dang well I might retest my build just to be sure. I'm going to put a, I'm going to play against the freaking Lakers or something, somebody with a good center. I want to see how the badge uh, works against like a legitimate, th like Draymond's a threat, but he's not like a, He's not like an Anthony's who will legitimately block your shot <laughs> like every time you go through the lane if you're a guard. You know, like not like a he's not like a suit well, he is a shot blocking threat, but not like a like I said, not like an Anthony Davis. Hey. Ooh! Oh yo, I love doing that. Barely tapping him so he can't get the foul call and just mm. I'm I'm ready for 2K20 though. I'm ready for 2K20. I probably probably been waiting for 2K20 for like the longest, and 2K20 is gonna take my Tuesday slot. Uh, my manager said that he, he wants me to find something to put instead of uh, MLB the Show videos because those are those are fun. Those are not even really that fun for me to make anymore. Cause they won't, cause the people won't move me up. So it's gonna take my Tuesday slot, and I'm probably just gonna post like, I don't know, park my career and whatever. I might make a new, like Raphael Johnson type story, but no GTA, cause I don't even want to do that anymore. But Raphael Johnson will live on, so I have to keep doing it. Ooh, skip through the, ah, on Kevin, you better get out the way, Kevin. And I feel, and I also feel like takeover feels slow. It's so slow. But I did build, I did choose playmaker takeover, so it's gonna feel slow for me. Cause if I'm not passing, it doesn't it like legitimately won't fill up, which is insane compared to 19. Like you did four dunks as a playmaker, and you were getting takeover. Really? D defensive. Okay. It seems like they didn't fix that. Uh, what? Okay. I have Needle Threader on Hall of Fame, and you throw it off somebody's head. <laughs> it would have been cool if you would have threw it off his head and then caught it or something. But you ain't do none of that. 
Uh, Glenn Robinson. I thought I could leave him open. AJ Ab Abdul Jabbar is having himself kind of a game. Not gonna lie. Ooh, change layup. Oh, I love shooting those, but they don't go in. Fade away. If Curry hits one of those on me ever, like I'm talking about in, in my career, on the park, or on the countless other times that I play on this account for this demo, just to make sure this is the build I want to make, I'm going to delete and not even buy 2K20, because I promise. He already makes me sick when he be shooting them freaking stupid dummy long threes after destroying Kyle's ankles. Freaking Lowry cannot guard Curry. Like, I would just sub in Fred Van Lee because legitimately he cannot guard Curry. And I don't see why I'm a 99 point guard and Kyle Lowry's still starting. I, I just feel like that's. Oh my god. I love that hop step. Yeah, no. Hop steps, uh, hop steps have to be nerfed. <laughs> hop steps have such good animations. They're so quick this year. Spins are spins are beautiful as well too. All the little all the little advanced layup gathers and dunk gathers this year are, are OP. But I know hop steps itself is not getting nerfed, but hop step dunks is getting nerfed, which makes me feel like hop steps are feel, still going to be kind of OP because. They really are. Hello? Okay, there we go. Back it up. Back it up. Ooh. Come here, d -Lo. Go, Mark! Big money, Mark. Needle Threader. Needle Threader is another really good badge, too. Like, I know the first time... I think I, I, think I have a clip of it. If I do, I should... Nah, I don't think I took a clip of it. But I, I megged somebody earlier. Like, something that Chris Paul... Uh, Trey Young, players like that would do. It's pretty cool. I didn't know 2K had, oh my gosh, I didn't know 2K had animations like that. 33 and 9. That's not my best performance in this demo, but definitely my worst. I've also played the most in, with this one. So I'm kind of playing a little, little garbage. But I also had three rebounds. Uh, and nine assists. I think the highest assist I got was 11, but it's neither here nor there. Come on. They got me switched on Willie Colley Stein. Oh, boy. But I will say this. My slasher, small forward, is a lock. He's a lock slash. Two-way slasher, I mean. Why did I say lock slash? Two-way slasher. Which, uh, like, if I ever need a small forward, that's my build. Well, I'll probably end up using it at least a few times just because of the fact of how short uh, our team is. Oh, ah! Uh, dude, I'm waiting for somebody to make, like, a Kobe build. A, a build that can do basically everything. Oh, 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 I thought that was getting beat to the third row. We good, we good, we good, we good. I thought, I definitely thought that was getting beat to the third row. Now I did make another set. The other, the other build that I uh, that I found the badge on. He was short. He was six foot. I was gonna make him five eleven or five seven, but he can't get contact dunks, and I wanted him to get contact dunks. So he's like my midget, I guess, for like you know. Giggles, Ooh, nice lay. But he was going up on everybody, and Giant Slayer was just popping because he's shorter than everybody that's on the court. And I think I scored, or I think my field goal percentage with him was like 86, and he dropped like 50 some points. It was ridiculous. Willie Colley Stein. Oh, yeah, and he dunked on Willie Colley Stein. It was satisfying. Hey, I'm just going up on Kevin Looney. Abdul Jabbar does not like uh, Kevon Looney. I do hate that they make a, they make you type your name in on every player. It's so annoying. Like I put the same name for all my players. Can you just like 
not make me give my name. But uh, I also can't wait for my team, which I'm kind of scared because they ain't released no news for my team so far. I mean, but we still got what? I mean, we're still like, this is like the week before launch. And we haven't got any news about him. I mean, I know I don't pl I don't main my team. Like, I don't play my team throughout the whole year. Like, I, I do play it through the whole year, but I don't post it through the whole year. Typically, what I do, or typically, not typically, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to post Park up until I get sick and tired of Park. And then once I get sick and tired of Park, we're going to go, oh, my, that is a new animation. Siakam! Mark! But, uh... I'm going to do what I just said, and then I'm going to post my team. So I'm going to have, like, recordings from, like, the start of the game when I start my team and, like, do the starter team. And, and I'll show you all, like, updates and things like that. But, like, I'm not going to play, like, people. Well, I will play people, but, like, if they do the 12-0 and 0 thing, like, I'll try to do 12-0 and 0 every month. But I'm not going to upload it until I get tired of playing park games. And I didn't realize the game was close. I'm not going to lie. I got 41 points and 9 assists. Come on. No way. That's what I thought. Trash can. Hey, D-Lo is too slow. D-Lo is too slow. I ain't even got Clutch Performer. I'm just out here balling on y'all. I wonder if they have any personality badges. Because a lot of their personality badges switched over to real badges. Like Clutch Performer. Well, they probably still have Championship DNA and like Enforcer and, and all that. But Defensive and Offensive Anchor switched to an actual badge now. Which kind of intrigues me. I, I know how they work. Ah, that's ripped. Who? Did I just get a clean save? I just got a clean, well, not clean save, but a clean dive on ball and it not count as out of bounds. Hey, don't jump, kid. Don't jump, kid. CPU, I mean, the bots, the AI, which they said they improved, they're garbage. Absolute cheeks. Like, they said they made all this big deal about user players timing blocks, and they can't even time blocks. Get this. Come on now. No, no, me. That ain't on me, baby. <laughs> bro, you cannot give a slasher open lane and he not going to take it, bro. We're going to take that every time. But as you can see, I'm rocking the double zero like I always do, Agent Double O. You feel me? We have Cameron Payne on our bench. That's where he belong. Oh, they sent me out. Put me back in with four with three seconds left. See if I can get a shot off green. Ah. But uh with that being said, this is kind of a long video. But as you've seen, I dropped 47 points, shooting 23 uh 35. 23 for 34. That last shot doesn't really count. But um we had eight dunks, which is beautiful. My plus minus was good. No one really dropped it a lot of points, but with that being said, I'm out. Peace out.